Hey everyone, it's Angela and I'm going to be talking about soil blocking today. So I will be using my mini blocker and showing you how that works. And then I'll also be potting up some of my um, already started mini blocks into the next step up, which are two inch blocks. And you can see I've already made some of those and they have this little depression right where I'll stick the soil block into so you can all you do is really press it in there and they're ready to go. So I just wanted to share this method of seeding with you because I've just discovered it this year and I think I'll be sticking with it for a while. So all a soil block is, is a compressed block of soil. You use this form and you press the soil mixture right into there and then you'll press it out. So I'm gonna um, show you how that works right now and talk a little bit about my mix that I've created here. So. My mix is quite wet. Um, you can see if I squeeze it, there are some droplets of water that come out. And this is a lot wetter than you would typically use in a cell tray. So uh, it's so wet because it's very heavy and peat. The recipe I use is out of Elliot Coleman's New Organic Grower book. And it's a basically four parts peat, two parts sand, one part compost and one part potting soil. With all the peat in there, uh, it retains a lot of water. So um, I'm just gonna start filling up my block. It's kind of like making a sand castle, you know, pressing this, the sand deeply into there and this mix even feels quite sandy to me. Uh, I've tried a couple mixes without sand and I, didn't like them as much. I feel like I had to be a lot more careful with my blocks. Blocks that I've made with sand actually uh, stand up pretty well. I They're the first blocks I made and they look the best out of any other um, recipes that I've used. And I don't have to worry about um, ruining them or eroding them with bottom watering, though I'm sure they you know would erode over time, but that's why we pot them up to the next size. So I'm almost done. Um, pressing these the soil into here. The only comment I would make about my mix is that it's kind of chunky because I've used home compost. So you want your compost to be pretty fine. Um, it's not really a big deal to have to pick out the sticks and it hasn't created any problems for me yet. So that's what this looks like when it's all filled up. And then I've got my lunch tray here that I have picked out some plants I'm gonna <laughs> pot up for you and you just press it down and they pretty much pop right out. Here's a closer view, but you can see where the divots are where I'll put my seeds. And I'm seeding some flowers which don't even need to be covered with soil, which is nice. But if I was gonna cover them, I would just use something dry because it'd be a lot easier to uh, spread dry soil rather than wet soil on top of here. I like to dip my soil blocker in water after each use. It clears it off and makes the next round a little bit easier. Um, so before I made this video, I made a couple bigger blocks with my bigger soil blocker. I got this um, on Facebook Marketplace and there's little inserts that go in here that look like Legos, so you can kind of see from the side here. Um, they're the exact same size as the mini block, so it creates that uh, depression for the mini block to go right into. So I've taken some of my straw flowers here and picked out the biggest ones, and I'm just gonna press them in to their new home, and their roots should just spread right out into the new soil and they'll be super happy that way. Um, I let them go a little bit too long and some of their roots are pretty big and coming out of the side, but typically if you, um, you know, take good care of your soil blocks, then you won't have to worry about that. I've got eight of my straw flowers potted up now and I waited a little bit longer to, to start these so that I can start bringing them outside and hopefully get them out in the ground um, in the next you know, two weeks or so. So I think the great thing about soil blocks is that they're pretty space efficient. So I have a hundred blocks right here and um, 
they barely take up any space. So on my heat mat, I'm able to fit 200 blocks and I can germinate stuff a little bit quicker because there's not as much space between the seed and the heat mat because these are so small. So they're really great for germinating um, peppers and other things that like a lot of heat or like to be a specific temperature. Uh, thanks for watching my video about soil blocks. I hope that you consider getting in yourself a couple of these um, blockers and trying this method out. It's really fun and I found it to be really efficient. The My seedlings do look super healthy and I'm excited to see how they do in these bigger blocks now.